Today, we are thrilled to have with us 14 players of that really incredible gold medal team. Give them a big hand. And they were amazed. They said, boy, this is a big crowd. I said, it's only because you guys are coming. You know, this thing was supposed to be for this evening. And I said, let me get back to Washington. Do it early. So we gave you almost no notice. You have thousands of people outside, thousands of people inside. You had to see. We were in Iowa. We were in New Hampshire. You saw what happened in Colorado last night. It was unbelievable. Every place we go, it's the same. It's been incredible. I don't know if you saw the pictures last night of the outside in Colorado. It was incredible. It was You could have filled that arena up four times, and it was a big arena. And it's something. So I hated to do it to you at 12 o'clock, but I said, let's go. I want to get back. We got to deal with China. We got to deal with Russia. We got to deal with North Korea, South Korea. We got to deal with the rest of the world. Get my people back. We got to get the hell out of here, right? But we have a lot of time. I'd like now to invite these incredible sport legends to join me on stage. A friend of mine and a very good golfer, by the way, Captain Mike. You wrote, hey, Mike, Mike, where's Mike? Where is he? Mike. Come on. Do you know who he is? He's a He's a fake handicap, is what he is. <laughs> Say something, Mike. Just welcome, everybody. It's ironic we happen to be here uh, to celebrate our 40th anniversary. The Vegas Knights flew the whole team out to honor us tonight and for the weekend. And we, we, we obviously thank the people of Las Vegas for having us here. And we're looking forward to celebrating a special time. And it's a great honor for the president to invite us to be part of this event as well. So Vegas, thanks for having us. But just tell them, am I a good athlete and am I a good golfer? Yeah, you, you are, yes, sir. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. That was some goaltending, right? How many did you uh, rebuff? Jim Craig, that's the next guy. He's the I mean, but how many did Jim, how many he did he rebuff? Very few. Very few, but a lot of shots, right? Yes, a lot of shots. He was like uh, a piñata. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So, Mike, that was great. Goaltender Jim Craig. So, Jim rebuffed. Come here, Jim. Great goaltender. Great goaltender. They didn't know what was happening. They kept shooting. He doesn't know how many you rebuffed. How many did you rebuff? 37. 37? Wow. So, let me ask you, was that as goaltender? Because that was incredible. Was that the greatest game you ever played? You've had a lot of great games, but was that the greatest game you've ever played? It was an important game. That was slightly important. Yes. Thank you. 37. 37! <laughs> Bill Baker. Bill, come up. Bill Baker. Dave Christian. Ken Morrow. Jack O'Callaghan. Mike Ramsey. Those legs took a beating. <laughs> Mark Wells. Neil Broughton. John Harrington. Rob McClanahan. Buzz Schneider, Dave Silk, Phil Vercotta, and a great coach, an assistant coach at the time, Craig Patrick. They 
said four more years. Twelve more years. Let's for them. Look at that. Look at the press. Look, hey Mike, look at the fake news back there. It's a lot. I always say, I always say, that's like the Academy Awards used to be. This year we had a movie. They said, best movie. They announced a movie from South Korea. I said, what's that all about? The movie was made in South Korea. Look, I get along great with South Korea, but you know, I never saw that one before. They used to call it best foreign movie. But now we do it that way. I don't get it, but that's what it used to be. And this is really an incredible time. I'll tell you what, for our country, that's why I like to see things that we do get honored, because nobody is doing what we do. Nobody can do it like us. We're the greatest country in the world again. We have the greatest people. We have the greatest military by far. We've totally rebuilt our military. Jobs are booming. Incomes are surging. Poverty is plummeting. Factories are returning. Confidence is soaring like these guys. The confidence is soaring. But, you know, we do have somebody that I'd like to uh, point out because this team is, uh, they had a coach. And that coach was a very inspirational coach, would you say, Mike? And I'd like to have uh, maybe one of you come up and just say a few words about Coach Brooks, because uh, he was very, very, he was really a big, he was a big heart on this team. Please. Who'd like to say? I, I think it would be appropriate, if you've got a few minutes, that Herb Brooks's daughter, Kelly, is here representing her father. And I can honestly tell you that Kelly was not ready for this <laughs> at all. You got it? Her, her dad was an amazing coach. He was a great teacher. He was a great motivator at times, maybe too much of a motivator. He was very demanding, he was very difficult to play for, but trust me on one thing, there never once was a day that we didn't respect the man, and never once was a day that we didn't trust him and what he was trying to do. He orchestrated the greatest sports moment of the 20th century, and the guys behind me uh, were so proud and honored to have been a part of him and, and, and what he was able to put together. Uh, it was a perfect environment, a perfect storm sometimes. Uh, not only a great coach, but great players and great people that stand behind me now. So if Kelly would like to say a couple of words, Come no, on, she yeah. won't. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm honored that his legacy still is alive today. And he would be proud to be here with you all. In my personal opinion, he would have been a Trump fan. Yeah. So tell me one thing, one thing. So I see those tears. That means you think he, you miss him and you love him, right? Was he actually a nice guy? Because he looked tough. Mike was just saying he was brutal. But he was a good guy, right? Tough, but great. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you all. Greatest sports story could be number one. So a lot of people, a lot of these sports experts, sports writers have voted that as the single greatest sporting event or athletic achievement. I think so, yeah. This is number, they put it number one, certainly top, top five uh, in the history of our country. We have a lot of things that we've done to break records. We're going to go over them. 
but we've broken a lot of records now. But I want to thank that great team for being with us. Very inspirational. This is a big day. The anniversary. Thank you, fellas. Thank you.